Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. Here I am live. It's a massive one. Massive, massive, massive game. Arsenal obviously winning yesterday. City winning yesterday. Liverpool need to win this game. And <sighs> couldn't be a worse team than Manchester United and away as well. It's going to be a mass. It's going to be a really difficult game. I really do think it's going to be a difficult game. Um, yeah, I mean, well, we know what happened on the seventeenth of March. They knocked us out of the FA Cup, which is fine. But we really should have won that game. We should have had that game dead and buried, and we just didn't. Let them back into the game. And they took their chances. We had, we had made a couple of mistakes. They went on and took their chances. They knocked us out of the FA Cup. Fair play to them. But today, it's a different kettle of fish. It's the league. We know we have got to win. There'll be an extra bit of pressure. They've also got massive injuries. Um, the the lineup is there. Scrolling just to the side of me here. You, you guys can see it. Um, there's, there's one fellow I, I don't even recognise in central defence because they've got so many defensive injuries. Um, obviously... That's better for us, but sometimes these youngsters come in, these these people you haven't heard of, and put on a good performance. I mean, look, look how Bradley's done for us. So we'll see, and also look at Mainu as well for United. He's he's a young lad who's doing really well, playing really good football. Um, I hadn't heard of him until a few months ago, or you know, this season anyway. You know what I mean? So you just don't know how it could go. It could be a blessing in disguise for United, um, but it could be a blessing for Liverpool. If he turns out the occasion gets to him too much, you know, it might be under pressure. We might try to exploit that specific area of defence. Don't know. Really just don't know how it will go. Um, if you watch my preview video, you'll know that um, I've predicted a 3-1 Liverpool win for today. Um, everybody seems to think there'll be a lot of goals. Um, uh, there was a, a comment on one of my posts at 4-2. Um, 4-2 would be nice. Don't mind a 4-2. Liverpool just need three points in this game. Obviously, last season was... We had a great result. I don't think it was at Old Trafford, actually. I think it was at Anfield. But, you know, like the 7-0, there's been a 5-0, a 4-0. If it's a result like that, fantastic. I would love watching it. I just don't see that happening. And... Yeah, just three points, just three points. You know, if we wanted to close goal difference, we should have done that against Sheffield. Um, they were definitely the best team to do that, seeing as they're the worst. They've conceded the most goals in the Premier League this season. But we didn't. We were unconvincing in that game. We took our time to get into it. Um, a lucky goal, really. And then when they got the equaliser, it was a very sluggish performance by Liverpool. Um, until then, McAllister got the the goal to put us back in front and then we sort of started dominating and really got comfortable. There was a few changes which probably led to that really. Um, the likes of Jones and Robertson coming on and Elliot as well. They seemed to make a massive difference when they came on. Um so maybe that's what caused it. Um just you know Robertson being a more natural left sided um player coming in instead of Joe Gomez moving Joe Gomez out right that seemed to really make a massive difference. So Anyway, that's Sheffield. This is Manchester United and three points. Three points is what we need and I don't want anything else. You know, I, the, um, I didn't do a stream for the last United game. I wish I had because it was such a game. There were so many um, reactions. I could have made so many little short clips from it. So um, but unfortunately, I was in England um, and I was just watching the game with some family in a pub. Um, but this time I'm here, I'm watching it. Hopefully that, well, hopefully we have a good thrilling game again, but like I said, three points anyway. Thank you, Elizabeth. Nice to have you in here again over on Facebook. Thank you so much. Um, thank you as well for the follow. Oh, a couple of follows come in on Facebook. Really appreciate that. Oh, there's been four or five followers on Facebook. Really appreciate that guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking. Thanks for following also over on youtube i do have a poll going as to who you think is gonna get the result here today feel free to get in there and vote it's currently 100 percent towards liverpool um finally getting a result against united because that's something else which is really annoying me we haven't got a result against united this season 
They've come to Anfield. They've got a draw. Um, and then, obviously, the FA Cup, where they knocked us out at Old Trafford. Um, so it would be very nice to get a three points or get a win against United this season. Because I do feel, overall, we've probably been the better team in them games. Like, the, the FA Cup, obviously, they won it, but we dominated the game for massive sections and really should have just had the game to bed. Um, at 2-1, I felt another goal would do it, but we didn't. We sort of, you know, 85 minutes or so, just like, you know, no, it's okay. We've got it, got it in the bag. Made a mistake. Rashford goes through. That's the thing. You you can't rest on a one um, a one goal difference, if you know what I mean, in a game. You have to get that third goal. Even a two goal advantage is not always the best, especially when you're willing to turn off. And that happened. They got the equaliser, sent it to extra time. We went ahead again. Same thing happened again, only this time we made another mistake and they managed to get a winner as well. Hoping that's not going to happen. Thanks again for another follow just coming on Facebook. And um, yeah, on YouTube, if you're watching, get a vote in the poll. Do get a vote in the poll. Get in the chat. Um, let me know your predictions, guys. Everybody who's watching on whatever platform, let me know your predictions. How you, What you think the score is going to be. Who do you think is going to be somebody to watch out for? Um, big news as well for Liverpool is Kwanzaa is um, in, is ahead of Kanate and Gomez. I don't know why Gomez isn't in there if Kanate's out injured. Um, it's a strange one. It really is a strange one. I really don't understand that. Um, but we'll see. Klopp, obviously the manager, he makes the decisions. And, well, I've trusted him this far, so why not trust him again? Yeah, so get in the chat, guys. Let me know predictions. Let me know what you think. Also, I've got um, a few things to talk about over the course of this stream. I have changed my my personal TikTok. is now a Slack and Armchair supporter TikTok. So if you guys are using TikTok and you're interested in my content, you can go over there and follow there if that's your main platform. I do post. Obviously, I don't do the lives there because I don't have enough followers. I think you need to have a certain amount of followers before you can go live. Um, but all of my other content, the short videos, I've actually, like my match preview for this game, and I haven't changed this text either. Um, the match preview for this game I posted there because I've literally only just done that a couple of days ago. So everything I've been doing, I've also been doing it there. So if that's your... If that's your platform of choice, feel free to go over there, hit that follow button, and start interacting over there. Just excuse me a second while I change this, because I've changed everything except for that. And there we go. Let's center that a bit. There we go. It is a live watch along. It isn't a match preview. Yeah, wow, big game, big, big game. Really excited for it. I was really excited for the last one, though. Salah has scored more goals than any other player in the, between United and Liverpool. Um, Massive game for Salah. He's been pretty poor recently, not been happy with him. He's been... I mean, obviously, he's the Egyptian king, so he's always going to be there, but... He's been wasteful. I mean, he did get that goal against Brighton. It turned out to be the winner. But, you know, he could have had five goals in that game. Some of us just not quite right. They're saying that it could be because he's observing Ramadan. Obviously, he might have um, just a lack of energy, which is fair enough. Obviously, of course, that can happen. Um, hopefully not today. Hopefully he's, Hopefully, he's got his United boots on. He'll bag one or two. <clears throat> and yeah so yeah i mentioned my tiktok also i've started a new series that i'm calling shit house of the week um if you guys it's go and check it out it's the first short i posted last week what i'm doing is i'm waiting for the the weekend's fixtures to finish or like a week's fixtures and i'm gonna try and shine a spotlight on the unfair things that happen in football or just straight up shithousery you know players diving you know feigning injuries ask you know giving that to the referee asking for cards um 
even managers who, you know, overstep their mark and have a proper little go on, go at the cameras in their um, interviews or referees making mistakes, which I didn't want it to be a show of just destroying referees, but <laughs> it's looking like it's going to be because last week was a referee and this week I think it might just be the PGMOL because there has been so many inconsistencies this weekend, so many poor decisions as well. So it quite possibly will be that again. But I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be a, a bash, bashing the referees show. So I, I am going to have to try um, and find, you know, nitpick some things. But anything that's unfair, you know, unsport and behaviour, anything like that, I'm going to try and shine a spotlight on it and, you know, pick that person apart and give them a little reward um Thato 2-1 to Man United from Africa Botswana thank you very much 2-1 I hope you're wrong but thank you for the score prediction and um yeah my regards to you in Botswana and yeah so that's that's a new series I the first video I I, I really enjoyed making it. I thought it was quite funny so go and check it out guys and yeah and again, if you have any suggestions for that as well, who you think a lot of people saying the likes of Fernandez and Mope will be in there. Yeah, they probably will be at some stage. And um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions as to, because I, I might have missed something like this week, we had no internet yesterday, so I was unable to watch any of the games yesterday. I caught, I think the second half of the Arsenal game was all. And like the first half, the first game wasn't at Villa, Villa Brentford. And then the internet went down and it was nearly all day before it came back up. So I actually didn't get to watch much football and I missed out on quite a lot of like that Villa Brentford game. It was one nil when I finished watching it one uh, nil to Villa. And then that finished, that finished three, three in the end it looked absolutely like a great game. And I seen the highlights obviously, but missed out. So when I'm doing that series, you know, I need to I need to be watching it to see how the players are acting, what they're doing. But I don't know. I think um, shit out of the week might be announced today. Really, the fixtures today. I think that's where it'll come out. Um, yeah. So anybody else, if you've got any more predictions for the game, who you think's going to win? You know, goal scorers, anything. Let me know, Mark. I'm going to say it's going to end one one. That's because you don't want to upset me, isn't it, Mark? One one. <clears throat> um, it's not going to end 1-1 I don't think if it ends 1-1 ah, goodbye to the, the title for Liverpool I think um, uh, may, well, maybe not I know Arsenal got a few difficult fixtures Arsenal got they've also got to go to United they've got to go to Spurs they've got to play Villa and I think there's another one. I remember I looked at Arsenal's fixtures yesterday thinking they've probably got the most difficult run. But the thing is, they don't concede goal. Even yesterday, Brighton absolutely played them in the bit of the game that I watched. Absolutely played them. I thought they're gonna they're gonna get something out of the game, but they just didn't, and then they didn't even score a goal. Um Arsenal are really solid at the back. That is what is worrying about Arsenal, is how good they are at the back. Um, you know, it's always easier to win a game when you don't concede a goal. So, and then City, at least if we draw this game, we're still ahead of City. Um, well, even, well, it depends. If we lose the game, depending on by how much, we'll still be ahead of City. But we can't, can't be relying on other people's roles. We have to rely on ourselves. Three points. That's it. Um, this could be a big game for Darwin Nunes, I feel. Um, I don't know. It's it's about time he really he w went into a big game and just, you know, made all the headlines. I suppose he kind of did against Newcastle. Yeah. You know, Newcastle isn't really a rivalry, is it, with Liverpool? You need to be doing it against, you know, City, Liverpool, uh, City United. Arsenal, Chelsea, you need to be doing it against the big teams, even in the Everton, in the Derby. So, hoping this will be a massive, massive game for Darwin Nunes. Couple of goals. 
And yeah, 3 1. 3 1 win. Guys, don't be shy. Go and get your predictions in the chat, whatever platform you're on. 89% of you think that Liverpool will finally get a result against United this season. 11% think no. And yes, if you're watching, also hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Every single person who subscribes makes a massive difference to my channel. I'm only young in the channel. I've only been doing it for the last six months or so. Well, since the start of this season. So what's that? Six, seven months. Um, and yeah, just the way it's growing and the way people are slowly starting to get in and start interacting and things. Really, really enjoying it. So thanks. Long may it continue. And like I say, every single person makes a difference. So smash that like and smash that subscribe button. And if you you really like the content and hit that notification button as well and then you'll get notified when i do post a video like shit house of the week um and my match previews live streams everything um highlight videos as well and then of course coming up to the summer i'll be you know having to diversify the content i'll probably turn into a bit of a news channel <laughs> i'm only young in the channel hey i'm old I'm, I'm only young. Don't tell people I'm old. <clears throat> the channel is only young. Okay? The channel is only young. <clears throat> I'm not young. But yeah, of course, then I'll be diversifying the content a bit in the summer. Um, you know, probably turn into a bit of a news channel, do like latest transfer news or, you know, the the hunt to get a new manager as well. That seems to be hot and up i see a lot of um a lot of videos on youtube about the manager i'm not really going to say much on it until it's going to be um guaranteed you know i don't i don't like listening to the media when it comes to transfers and that because there's so much fake news going around and until that person is wearing a liverpool shirt and signed a contract i don't you know i don't believe it um and that's that's how just just how I am. So I'll probably do the same with the manager as well. <clears throat> but yeah, so a lot more news type videos coming during the summer. And maybe some live streams for the Euros as well, of course. Um, I did discuss this before. I set, um, set out a poll on YouTube about what sort of content people would like when the football isn't on, when there is an international break. And only two people voted, but 50% was for live streams of the international games um so what i'll do is i'll do a poll of what games i can stream and you guys vote on it and i'll whoever whichever one gets the most or whichever two depending on how busy i am or how many videos i've put out i'll do a couple of live streams of them games and yeah Sky Sports with lots of lots of adverts. We're about what five six minutes away from kickoff now, and yeah, I'm starting to I'm starting to feel it now. Thanks for the likes as well that came in there on Facebook. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> really, really starting to feel this game now. Always happens with United. I can't, can't stand. It. I grew up watching United beat Liverpool nearly every bloody time. It was very rare Liverpool got a result. I just. They were just always so good. Always just such a hard game to watch. Um, and then the first real result I remember Liverpool winning and it being a result was that 4-1 at Old Trafford, I think, where Tor didn't Torres scored two and Gerrard scored one. And Oh, we were wearing a grey top anyway. And I think it was Andrea De Sena scored this insane lob. And that finished four one, and that was a that was a great game. That was, and that was when I, you know, that was one of the little victories I remember. You know, every other time it was United winning. So these last few years I've really enjoyed, but it doesn't change the fact when this game comes about, I still am a bit nervous, a bit sort of anything can happen. The old firm derby didn't finish 3-3, did it? Is that what they're saying? There was th apparently three goals after the 86th minute in that game. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not sure if I heard that right. Okay. 
Yeah, it finished 3 3. And there was three goals after 86 minutes. Celtic probably thought they won it in the 87th minute, but Rangers got another one, 93rd minute. That was good. I thought Celtic were going to have that. I think it was 2 0 last time I looked. And yeah, as it stands, we know are still atop. Liverpool one point behind and nine goal difference behind. Fucking hell. Teams are in the tunnel. United are wearing a camouflage jacket. Is that so we can't see them? Never seen that before. And here they come, walking out onto the pitch. Charles, thanks for the follow over on Facebook and Tumpers as well for the like. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> and yeah, it's time to. It's it's really there now. It really is there. Players walking out onto the pitch. And yeah. <clears throat> So, yeah, there was um, an awful lot of shock and refereeing decisions this weekend, wasn't there? I hope there's none in this game because there's been far too many in big games that have just ruined games. A lot of people asking about the um, the penalty yesterday for Arsenal, I mean, against Brighton. Guys, let me know in the chat what you think. I think it's a penalty. A lot of people think it's not a penalty. I think if um, Lamptey gets more of the ball, then it's probably not going to be a penalty because he's got more of the ball, but he's he's, hard, he's he's clipped the ball is all. And I think I think that, that was the correct decision. But um, after the game, anyway, there was a lot of... Um, a lot of talk saying that that was the wrong decision and a lot of media outlets saying that that was the wrong decision and there was outrage and all this, but it's... And the Brighton players weren't happy, of course not, because they conceded a penalty and they're doing all right in the game at that stage. But it was it was a penalty for me. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that was a penalty. <clears throat> and then there was Wolves out of goal disallowed um, I'm not sure when it was this, this is a game I didn't see so I'm not sure what minute it was it was around the 90th minute anyway it was I'm not sure if it was in stoppage time or just before Wolves had a goal disallowed I'm not sure what that's being disallowed for um, offside um, so set piece offside the player is apparently obstructing the view of the goalkeeper in an offside position that's why it was given I don't see that being a an offside call either I think that was a very shocking shocking decision um, I think Wolves were robbed of a, a point there but yeah again guys let me know what you're thinking And here we go. We're about to get underway. Let's get my scoreboard ready. So Liverpool with a huddle. Not sure what all the huddle is about. Arsenal do it like every time the game stops, it seems to be. <clears throat> I really don't see it. You've just been in the dressing room talking about your tactics, what you're going to be doing. Right. About to get underway. Bruno Fernandes is going to get us underway at Old Trafford. Taking a knee.
and we are underway. There we go. Oh. So, guys, don't forget, you can always get your score predictions in the chat. And don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Here's Diaz on the left. Tries to find Sobosly, is it, in space? Here's Bradley now. Salah was on the overlap, waiting for him to feed that through. Didn't. Liverpool have got United penned back here in the first few seconds. Endo now out to Salah. Sobosly trips over Maguire, but Sobosly wins it back. Good toss up between them two there. All right, Liverpool have lost possession here. And here's Garnacho. He's offside. Garnacho's one on one, but he's offside. And he's scored. And there goes the flag. He's a mile offside. I don't know why they waited. <sighs> See, there's decisions like that. I don't understand. Like, I understand why they brought in the, the linesman not putting up his flag. But he is very clearly a yard or two offside. Well, about a yard offside. So, he, he does. He does finish it well. He goes, takes it around the keeper, slots it into an empty net. But I don't know why the linesman is not flagging that. Oh, and fuck, who's this now? Quans has just given it away. United now into the penalty area. Fernandez goes down. So goal kick to Liverpool. Fernandez looks like he's hurt himself, has he? No. Yeah, Quans just... Just sees him out of play. Oh, that's a good header there by Nunes to get it onto Salah. Salah now. Salah, what a pass that is to Sobosly. Sobosly! Oh, it's nearly fell for Diaz, but he's fallen over as well. Good save by Anana. This has been a bit crazy, hasn't it, really? This is two teams having a proper go at each other. This is what I was expecting. Van Dyke now got it down. Robertson's got it down now. He's down the left wing here. Early first time ball. It doesn't get past Maguire, I think. McAllister picks it up. Throw into Liverpool, left hand side. Thank you very much for the like and the follow over on Facebook. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> Liverpool with another throw. So United turn over possession straight away from the throw. Fernandez now. Oh, he got a little push in the back there by Endo. Is it Endo? So a free kick to United. Yes, it was Endo. United just at the, with the back four, waiting for Liverpool to come on to them. Robertson's the long ball forward now, but Robertson's taken it out of the air. And there's Casemiro taking it off of Liverpool now. Very hectic. Bradley's out to meet Rashford on the on the left. Oh, that's a good ball through to Wamba Saka. When Masaka's had to go away from goal. Dallo now. This is Garnacho on the right. Yeah, he's fed it through to Mainu, but Liverpool deal with it. It's now Dallo on the right. Cross comes in. It's low and it doesn't get past the first man. 
And here's Nunes on the left. He's got a lot of space here. He's got Salah in space as well, if he can see him. Oh, he's just fucking ran and fell over. He should have... He should have just crossed it across to Salah. Hits it into the space. Salah's then going to use his legs to get round the... I think it was Maguire who he's running against. But instead, Nunes falls over. You're not going to get possession. And it is now with Maguire. Oh, that was very nearly a good ball out to Rashford there on the left. Here's Fernandez, Rashford. Liverpool keep getting their foot in and winning the ball, but it then goes to a United player. Garnacho, that was a crossfield pass now. Garnacho on the right hand side. Oh, he's managed to get the cross in. Van Dijk hits it behind for a United corner. And it is in the first 10 minutes, so somebody's getting booked here. Who's getting booked? Connor Bradley got booked. What for? Yeah, Bradley's gone flying in on Rashford a few seconds ago. Well, a few moments before. Bradley looks tiny compared to Hoyland. Cross comes in from Fernandez. Is that Robertson at the near post? Yeah, it's headed it straight out for another United corner. Poor, um, very poor corner by Fernandez there. So Fernandez gets a second chance. And your man is holding Van Dijk there. That young French defender, Cam... What's his name? Camboala or something like that? So, United with possession. Oh, that's a good ball by Anana. Straight over to... So towards Garnacho. Van Dijk with the header, though. <clears throat> Here we go now. Liverpool working it up down the right hand side. Soboslai. Oh, he's just passed it straight to fucking Casemiro. This is why I thought Elliot would have been better in right midfield. Soboslai's got that in him. United with another corner. Robertson blocking Garnacho's cross. <clears throat> So Fernandez now with the corner, out swing of right hand side. Yeah, Camboala, his name. He is literally just hugging Van Dijk in the penalty area. Corner comes in, and Nunes with the header away. Bradley nips it away from uh, Rashford there. Just gets his foot in, and then he was tripped by Rashford, so it's a free kick to Liverpool. <clears throat> so, Quanta plays it back to Keller. Now Van Dijk. United pressing very high up against um, Liverpool. Um, nice and tight, but yeah, Endo then just boots it against Casemiro. He gets a free kick. He's lucky. Uh, a throw in, sorry, I should say. He's lucky. Um, oh, United with sixty four percent possession. Probably feels about right. They have started the uh, the more energetic. Oh, but here, Nunes, don't touch that. You're offside. 
Nunes cross comes in. He's found Salah. Salah with the volley. It's deflected. Goes for a corner. Deflected off of Maynou. I think that Nunes was offside there. <clears throat> Doesn't matter because it's gone for a corner and they didn't score. But I think if it, if anything did happen, I think that would have been. Corner to Liverpool left-hand side here. Robertson over it. Yeah, Salah's like tried to get a foot in and it's, it's ricocheted back off of him and fed through Nunes. And I think Nunes was maybe just offside. So, Robertson with the corner. Cross comes in. Oof. Header, it goes out to the far side to Salah. Salah, Soboslai. Soboslai with the shot. Oh, it's just over. Yeah, just over. But it's straight down the middle of the goal as well. It needs to be on target, really. United trying to play it out here. Liverpool win it back now with Endo. McAllister does well to win it. Gets it to Endo. Endo driving at the defence. Left-hand side now with Diaz to McAllister. Back to Diaz. United very compact. Lots of bodies in there. And lots of running in their legs. Lots of energy. The second Liverpool pass it off to somebody. That's a good ball by Van Dijk into Diaz. Back to McAllister. A lot of energy from United. The second anybody gets the ball, they're, you know, they're up against them, pushing on to them. Bradley now. Salah. Salah goes back to the goalkeeper. Van Dijk, Salah's shouting for it. He hasn't seen him. Quanta now. <clears throat> Liverpool just trying to get their foot on the ball, get a bit of possession. Try to find a way. Draw United out, which is seems to be working. Ball up from Quanta. Nunes doesn't win the header. Endo wins the second one. Salah now. Misses out, but oh, it's fallen nicely to Soboslai here. Oh, he's fed it through to Nunes. Oh, and that's a good block. That is by Dallow, is it? Nunes tries to then feed it back to Diaz, I think. And Dallow's just in the right place. Oh, he should have fed it off to Salah the opposite way. He's tried to, f yeah, he's tried to feed it through to Diaz. And Dallow's body's in the way. If he goes the opposite way, he lets it carry on rolling across him. It goes through to Salah. So Liverpool corner anyway. Right-hand side. Soboslai takes it short. Here's Salah now. Soboslai, McAllister. McAllister to Endo. Endo to Soboslai. Soboslai into Diaz. Oh, it's taken away from him. Here's Nunes, though. Diaz. Diaz lining up the shot. He's going out to the left wing here now. Doing too much again with the ball. And Liverpool back now. Van Dijk leaves it for Robertson, Diaz, Robertson, Van Dijk, Endo. Left hand side with Robertson. He's tried to ball over the top. It's cut out by United, but Endo wins it back to Soboslai. Now we're out on the right hand side with Bradley. Back in towards the middle. Uh, Diaz tries to loop it over to Bradley. He's nearly come off for him, but United deal with it. And that's going to be a goal kick to United. How are we doing? So are you, what are you thinking of the game so far, guys? Are you watching it? <clears throat> Where in the world are you watching it from as well? <clears throat> oh. Been very a very energetic 15 minutes.
United's pressing game has been brilliant. Playing out from the back here, Anana to Kamwala. Oh, that's calm by Van Dyke, that is. He's just sort of shrugged Hoyland off and chest the ball down out of the air. Brilliant. Quanta now. Ball out towards Diaz on the left, is it? Robertson, actually. Robertson keeps it in with a header. McAllister's up winning a header. McAllister to... Oh, Nunes, the pass is shocking. Oh, and here we go. United are away here with Hoyland on the left. Van Dyke's across to him. The Garnacho's in space if he can find him. No, he's had to go turn back and go back now. Rashford now out to Fernandez on the left, is it? Oh, Bradley manages to get a foot on the through ball from Fernandez. It trickles out of play for a Liverpool throw. <clears throat> oh. On the throw and Liverpool go straight up the pitch. United throw. It's now with Dallow. Ball over the top. That's a brilliant ball by Dallow. Fernandez goes down. He's offside. He's just shouted fuck off at the referee there by the looks of it. He's offside. So whether Kwanzaa pulled your shirt or not, you're offside. That was the first offence. He has just shouted fuck off at the referee. I'm not a lip reader, but I know what he said. <clears throat> right, Kelleher with the ball at his feet. Liverpool looking to play it out now. That's one thing I liked about Brighton yesterday, the bits and pieces that I did see. Oh, here's a ball by Quanta over to McAllister. Takes it down nicely, cuts it. No, he doesn't quite cut it back. Soboslai lines up a shot. And obviously there's a body in front of him. It's Bradley. Salah. McAllister. Robertson, left-hand side. Cross comes in. And Soboslai's coming in, and he's put it wide. Thank you very much for the like over on Facebook, Tira Man. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great day, everybody who's watching. Hope you're all having a great day, enjoying the football. <clears throat> but yeah, like I was saying about Brighton, their, their ability to play it out from the back and in tight spaces, Arsenal really got onto them, pressed really high, pressed really, you know, hard. But Brighton somehow managed to wiggle their way out of it. I mean, it didn't always come off for them. Obviously, Arsenal did. Arsenal did actually get um get a little bit of joy from it. But the way they were able in tight spaces as well, surrounded by bodies, just little intricate passes and out. It was incredible. I thought that's how they were actually going to get something from the game. They didn't know. Um, Arsenal were obviously too good. Kelleher now. And that was a poor... I was trying to get it out to Diaz on the left wing, I think. Um, Liverpool have had five shots. United have had none. Here come United down the left-hand side. Quant is in on Fernandez. Good challenge. United throw, left-hand side. So wan with the throw. It's actually getting a bit dark in here, isn't it? Turn that up. It's a bit better. <clears throat> oh, Walter. 
Nunez is poor by Endo, but Robertson's picked it up deep. He's running now at the penalty area. Goes for the shot, actually. Pulled it well wide. Well, well wide. Fuck. It's, it's a terrible shot. He's... <clears throat> Should be doing better than that. Yeah, Gary Neville's literally saying it about the, the FA Cup game. Liverpool being wasteful um, cost us then. And that was extremely wasteful by, by Robertson. I mean, probably better to try and put a cross onto somebody's head from that position. Because he, he hasn't even connected with it well. Banana now to Camboala. Liverpool not too eager to press on to them. Dallow goes back to Maguire. And that's very well worked there. Oh, but McAllis has done well to win that back. Who's he won that off of? He's running now. He's got Diaz on the overlap to the left. Diaz. Oh, the pass again. The pass is terrible. McAllis at Endo now. Endo dinks a ball to the far post. It's headed. Is that Mainu again? Endo tries to dink it over to Salah. Mainu puts a head. He's nowhere near. Like... It just comes. It just comes near him. So he puts a head on it. Goes out for a Liverpool corner. He really does pop up everywhere. That Manu. So corner to Liverpool right hand side. I assume Soboslai will take it again. Oh. What has happened here? My TV's just gone off. Seriously. Oh, it's fucking one nil. The fuck is this shit? It's one nil. It's looking like Diaz. Yeah, Diaz in the chat as well. Corner. TV freezes. One nil Liverpool. TV comes back on. So corner, here it is. Corner. Nunes flicks it on. Diaz at the far post. Great flick on. And it's just straight. Diaz got it. Diaz got a tap in. Easiest goal he'll ever score by the looks of that. He's got that's a nice flick on by Nunes, actually. And Diaz, there's nobody on him. There's nobody on him. And it's gone between Dallo and Anana in goal. 1-0 to Liverpool, and that is what we like to see. <clears throat> so 76% of you think Liverpool will get a result today. If we score goals, we can definitely get results. And conceding goals, obviously, not conceding goals is, makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> but I've been... Quite impressed with United so far. They've been very energetic um, on and off the ball. Um, this is a free kick here to United. Diaz has pulled back Dallow as he's trying to come out. But yeah, it's only 25 minutes in, guys. So, you know. Nunes get, nearly gets a foot in there, but Endo does get a foot in, wins it back. Well done. Now it's Nunes in the middle. Lovely ball out that time to Robertson. Robertson, oh, tries the early cross back to Nunes, but big cross now. Maguire with the header away. Liverpool throw in. Right, McAllister now, right in at the corner flag up against Garnacho. 
Going to try and win a corner, is he? And he has won a corner. Fernandez comes in, puts it straight out for a corner. Right, corner, left-hand side this time. Probably going to be Robertson. Maynou's marking Diaz this time. Maguire now as well, pointing at him. Robertson with the cross. Cross comes in, headed up in the air. It's going to fall for Soboslai. And he's gone for that again, and he's hurt himself. Looks like he's hurt himself there. Bradley now. No, he's up. Soboslai now with the ball. Wins it back. Robertson, endo. And there's Mainu with a brilliant challenge. Hoyland now running at the defence. He's got Rashford on the left. Back in towards Fernandez. Fernandez with a nice turn. McAllister brings him down. It's a free kick to United. <clears throat> So Fernandez over this free kick is about 35 yards out. Yeah, 30 yards out. And there it is, cross goal. Oh! Jesus. Liverpool need to defend better than that. Is it Casemiro? Ball comes over the top. Casemiro heads it back across goal. There's Kambala and um, Hoyland. And they just couldn't quite reach it. Robertson sees it out for a Liverpool goal kick. Casemiro shouldn't be able to be heading that ball back across goal. Keller with a ball up. That's powered by United. But there's McAllister bringing it down nicely. Robertson now to Diaz. Is Fernandez now silly from Diaz that to give away the ball there? McAllister though defending lovely. Menu now out to Garnacho on the right wing, and there's Nunes coming across, puts it out for a throw in. He's hurt himself though. Oh, it's a free kick to Liverpool. Oh, Garnacho. Yeah, Garnacho has tried to play the ball out again or tried to pass it off, but Nunes has just gotten in there too quickly and um, he's ended up standing on Nunes's foot. So it's a free kick to Liverpool. <clears throat> and now Kwanzaa, Kelleher, Van Dijk. Liverpool looking to play it out from the back. Van Dijk's gone with a big ball up top here now. Nunes to run on to. Oh, Nunes has got the better of Cambuala here, and he's got the legs as well. He's into the penalty area. Cambuala does well to get back and get a leg in on it. And there he is, cheering on the crowd. Yeah, he's come away. He's, I don't know what he's... I think he's tried to head it out for a throw or something. He's gone with a leg, but he's gone. With, he's ended up heading it. And then, well, then he's ended up completely missing it. It's allowed Nunes to run through on goal, but he manages to keep up with him and get a foot in. Here is Garnacho now. Oh, he's passed it straight to Nunes there. Now with Bradley. He was under pressure from Endo. I thought Endo was going to get a foot in, but he ended up passing it straight or back to a Liverpool player. We'll try to press up there. Oh, that's a free kick, Endo. Is it Endo? He's 
tried to go for the kick. Oh, there's Fernandez down. He's gone to. Yeah, there's not there's not much in that. He has caught Fernandez, but it's not it's not dangerous. He hasn't done it on purpose. He's tried to get the ball. <clears throat> Garnacho now. Oh, what's that? That was a. Is that Maguire? Was it? He's tried. He tried very quick ball over the top. Just nobody was onto it. Hoyland or Fernandez in that position. It's gone through to Kelleher anyway. The ball wasn't great, but it was just very unexpected. Liverpool with a throw in right hand side off of Rashford. <clears throat> Bradley to take it. So hopefully Liverpool will go and get another goal or two because a one goal advantage is not enough. Nunes now. Bradley's pulled to the ground there by Rashford, but. Referee says nothing. Rashford goes back to the goalkeeper. He has to jump in the air to chest that down. Rashford kind of thumped it at him. <clears throat> and now here's Maguire. Just striding out of defence. Kambwala. Kambwala's pass to um, Dan Acho was a bit... A bit off. Diaz, man. Is it? No, to Dallo, sorry, not Garnacho. Diaz gets in and. Diaz gets in, puts out for a United throw. Maguire. Long ball out to the left wing to Rashford. Takes it down nicely. Bradley's across, but he's looped over Bradley. He's now got Manu with him. No, it's Juan Basaka. It's cut out by Bradley, though. Kwanzaa clears it. Not very far, though. It's now with Manu. But Liverpool have won it here, and it's a 4v3 here. If they work this right, Diaz now. Salah, it's behind Salah. Salah goes for the shot, though. Good save by Anana. Very good save by Anana. That ball needs to be better by Diaz. That is... Salah's done well. The ball's behind him, though. It needs to, it needs to be a couple yards more in front of him. Like, that's behind him. So he's had to adjust himself. I'm surprised he managed to get a shot on target at all. Well, then again, not really. It is Salah. Robertson, corner, left-hand slide, out swinger. Cross comes in. It's over everybody. It's fallen to Salah on the edge of the box. Salah shot. Oh, another save by Anana. I don't I don't know. Did that get a deflection? Anana seemed to save that really funny. See, Salah's touch as well brought it away from goal. That was going wide, actually, and Anana's punched it out. Anana's lubing up his gloves there with some Vaseline by the looks of it. I wonder what he's planning on doing with that. Robertson, left-hand side. Cross comes in. I don't know who that was. Was it Nunes leaping for it? It's just missed it. Sobosly now gets it to Nunes. Nunes with the shot. Oh! And that is just over. It's landed on the roof of the net. It has landed on the roof of the net. That is... <sighs> Should have been doing better there. Should have at least be hitting the target with that. Bradley's put out for a throw to United.
Right, it's now with Van Dijk. Liverpool have had 12 shots, four on target. United have had none. 53% possession now to Liverpool. It does feel like Liverpool have grown into the game. And actually, but actually, when we scored the goal, oh, that was lovely work. Robertson's got a load of space on the left-hand side. Garnacho's trying to keep up with him. He's found Soboslai. Soboslai crosses it. Salah, that's fucking shit. Oh, that was dreadful. He's gone. <sighs> Neville and Carragher keep talking about the FA Cup game. About how wasteful Liverpool have been, basically. That's Salah. He just needs to get his fucking foot over that. You need to get over. You need to be hitting the target. Klopp. Klopp has gone crazy. I don't blame you. I'm watching the same shit again. I mean, Liverpool are one nil up. Fair enough, but you need to put games to bed. I'll be, I'll be sick. United have always got that threat. They've got the speed. Garnacho and Rashford are quick. Hoyland's... I didn't realise how big he was until he stood beside Bradley. Hoyland's a bit of a brick shithouse, really. <clears throat> you know? So they've got threat. And then they've got Anthony to come off the bench as well. <clears throat> so you take the chances while they're there. And this has just been wasteful. Salah should be doing so much better with that. Row into Liverpool, down the left. Diaz. No, he shrugged off it by Maguire. Maguire's clearance, so only goes. Well, Liverpool get a foot on it, but it's been turned back over to United. They're coming down the left wing. Rashford. He's overran it. He's put it out for a throw. McAllister now. Deep into our half. United just. Stepping off a bit. Ponsa. Right, it's now with Kelleher. Come on, just clear it up the fucking pitch, please. There we go. Cleared it up the pitch. Only as far as Kambwala. Hoyland's coming back from an offside position. Goes all the way back through to Kelleher. When Liverpool play it out from the back as well, I'm never convinced. It's, you know, when it works, it works. But when they then start getting too much pressure on them, I'm always a bit worried. That ball four was just too much on that for Bradley. It's gone for a United throw. Yeah, it, when it starts going pear shaped for Liverpool when they're playing it out from the back, they just, they invite too much pressure and they then don't play it out well and then they make mistakes. And yeah, that's what leads to opposing teams scoring goals. And it's really scary to watch sometimes. When it works, it works. But when it doesn't, it really doesn't. He's Bradley now on the right-hand side. Oh, we've gone back to Keller. <clears throat> Kwanzaa now. Big ball over the top towards Nunes. That was... Nearly a very good ball, headed away by um, Kambwala. Liverpool retained possession. Oh, Van Dijk, Bradley was calling for that. He had loads of space on that right wing. Van Dijk goes to Robertson now, but now it's back with Van Dijk. Quanta now. Oh. Diaz's touch was heavy, and is it Main who's come in and challenged him? He's won the ball, but Diaz is down hurt. They're not going to put it out. Come on, you guys don't put it out. You can't ask them to stop. Fuck off. That's... It is a painful one. It is a painful one, but your man's got the ball. But like, it's a good challenge. If you can't be doing that sort of challenge, then the game's gone. 
But I don't know why the referee's blowing the whistle for that. I mean, every team plays on, don't they? They're just showing replays of the goal. I, I, Carragher's saying, how many times do we see goals scored in that position from at that far post from a corner? I can't believe how much space Diaz had. There's nobody around him. He's probably got about a radius of like three yards around him where nobody's near him and he's just free to volley it into the net. So Maguire now with the ball. Play has resumed. Diaz is up. He's fine. But yeah, I know if that was Liverpool, we wouldn't kick it out of play for United if they had a player down. So so there's a ball over the top here for Hoyland. It's gone all the way through to Keller, though. Far too much on that. <clears throat> and Quanta now. I wonder how many... Minutes of added time there'll be. I mean, Diaz was just down. Fernandez was down for a little while as well, for about a minute or so before. Oh, Bradley's done well here. Bradley to Nunes to Diaz. Oh, he's kicked it straight at the defender. Or was it just a good block? <laughs> um, corner to Liverpool, right-hand side. Bradley's done really well there to loop it over. Over Rashford, not the defender, over Rashford was there at the left-back position. And Diaz has tried to squeeze it between Dallow and Kambwala into the right-hand side of the goal. And it's come off of Dallow's leg, out for a Liverpool corner, right-hand side. Oh. So, sob a sly over it. Cross comes in. It's headed away by... Rashford, I think that was. Robertson now pings it back towards Soberslai, but it's cut out again. And this time United come down the left-hand side, but that... That's actually a really good ball by Fernandez. He's absolutely levered this ball, and it has gone straight as an arrow, right down, like, probably about that far away from the touchline. And it's just gone straight and stayed all the way in play. Just nobody's run onto it. Keller has gone out and collected it. Oh, who was that? That was brilliant play by McAllister keeping that there. No, it was Bradley, sorry, not McAllister. Here's Salah. Salah with the cross into Nunes. Nunes didn't read it. Straight into Anana's hands. And they try to come away again quickly, and Kwanzaa picks it up. Soboslai now. Soboslai to McAllister. McAllister with a nice little turn to stay away from Hoyland. Soboslai gets it to Diaz. Diaz is loses out. Here come United now. And there's the ball. That should have been better by Fernandez. Kwanzaa picks it out. Bradley now. Salah up to the right wing. He's got Maguire on him. Maguire does well to well he does well to like get Salah on the floor, but then he kicks it out for a throw in. So throw into Liverpool. Diaz. Is it Endo now? It's now back with Van Dyke. And still just knocking it around the back. And back to Keller. Yeah, so I reckon there'd be about three minutes of added time. I mean, Diaz was down, Fernandez was down, and then there was the goal as well. Ball over the top to Bradley. He's, he's tried to play a bit of mind games there with wan -Bissaka, but wan -Bissaka was well up for that. Here's McAllister now. Diaz. Nunes on the left wing. Got a bit of space to run into. And he does. There's nobody there coming to him. Oh! oh! 
A little one-two with Diaz, and then Nunes has tried to dink it to the far post. He's offside anyway. I think I think it's been given offside. One, two. Oh no, it's Robertson. Jesus, I need to put my glasses on. I can't see who anybody is on this TV. Either that, or I need to get a bigger TV. But I don't understand how Robert how Robertson's there. But yeah, he's then tried to curl it into the far corner. It's gone wide anyway, but... Ball forward by Anana, and it's picked out by Endo. Then McAllister gets it to Kwanzaa. And the aerials are just being won by Liverpool at the moment. Liverpool are maintaining the possession 57% now. Oh, Dallow's missed out here to Diaz. Diaz pings it to Salah. Salah gets Soboslai now. Soboslai to Bradley. Bradley's shot is blocked. It's a corner to Liverpool. Wambasaka goes flying in there. Brilliant block. How Soboslai chests it down, lays it off to Bradley. Bradley obviously opens himself up to curl it across the goal. Wambasaka comes flying in. Liverpool taking far too long to get their shots off. And United are clinging on to a 1-0. Um, well, they're keeping Liverpool at 1-0. Robertson on this right-hand side. So it's going to be an in-swing and corner this time. So Cross comes in as a poor one. Fernandez is it with the clearance straight away. Out for a Liverpool throw. And then the whistle's going to go as well. Because um, that, that two minutes is up. Yeah, there we go. The two minutes is up. And... Yeah, Liverpool, wasteful again. Absolutely wasteful again. Klopp seems to have some ideas. He's sprinting down the touchline into the into the dressing room. Um, one nil to Liverpool. Diaz with the goal. Corner comes in. Nunes with a flick on. Diaz at the far post in acres of space. Volleys it into the net. And that's the story of the first half. Um, Diaz puts Liverpool ahead. Liverpool should probably be three or four nil up. Wasteful, wasteful, wasteful from Liverpool. Um, Salah. Soboslai. I don't know. So I don't know how you change it, apart from scoring your chances. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think anyway, what you think of the game so far. What do you think it will finish? If you have any predictions, um, get them in the chat. Of course, I'm always happy for some predictions. But... How do you think this game is going to go? Um, will United get themselves back into it like they did in the FA Cup game? Or will Liverpool finally score a couple of their chances? Um, I hope it's the latter. Um, Liverpool need to score a good couple of goals. Um, so I'm just going to go and have a little break. I'll just be a couple of minutes. Um, thanks, everybody, who's tuned in. Um, it's incredible. An awful lot of views so far. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and also hit that subscribe button. The subscribe button is the most important one. If you subscribe to the channel, if you're enjoying the, the content, please do so because that helps me grow as a channel and then it can become my job and I'll be able to provide you with even more content. And, you know, you know how it goes. I then make you more specified content. So thanks who has already done that. And yeah, I'm just going to go on a little break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes and we'll, you know, we'll talk a bit about the game and then obviously the second half. So I'll see you in a few minutes, guys.
Welcome back, guys. So, what, um, That's just done that. So yeah, obviously Sky Sports just going through Liverpool being wasteful, showing the goal and showing us where we should have scored three or four more goals. Unfortunately, that's the way it is at the moment. Um, Liverpool being wasteful could be a good couple of goals to the good. United still just hanging in there though, aren't they? So. I went and got myself someone to calm the nerves. Just. Because. I felt like I needed it. Nerves are always shot at these games. So someone just to calm me down a bit. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I went through it earlier. Um, I'll just go through it again. Just so anybody who missed it or who is new, to, just currently just tuned in. Um, I have set up a TikTok for this channel. So if you do use TikTok, and that is your preferred platform, go and search Slack and Armchair Supporters over there. And yeah, you'll find my content there. The only thing I don't do over there is these live watch-alongs. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, followers over there, so I can't actually do live streams to TikTok just yet. Hopefully soon, because I'm I'm not sure how many it is, but I think I've got like 800 followers or something. So I, I think it's a thousand. So maybe soon, you know, if I get a bit of a following over there and people are interested, I'll do the, the live streams to TikTok as well. But yeah, currently all my short form videos um, and the most recent match preview, the preview for this game um, was posted on TikTok because I've only I've only set it up this week. It was it was initially a gaming um a gaming profile so you will see me doing like gaming stuff um a lot of the videos are gaming related stuff but i've changed it now um so if you are interested and you do use tiktok you can go follow over there of course <clears throat> and also yes that's also the other thing um my new series i'm calling it shit house of the week um it's where i try and shine a spotlight on the most unfair or unsporting behavior seen in the premier league over the course of that week um, the first video I posted that um, on Monday really enjoyed making it um, I think it is quite a good series um, and yeah I've got a few ideas for it so yeah please go and check that out um, leave a like on it if you enjoy it of course and share it with your friends um, and also if you have any say I've missed something or you think somebody deserves a, an honourable mention um, let me know as well because I, I honestly I can't watch all of the football. I have far too much on to watch every single game. Um, so if you think that there's been a bit of an injustice in the foot in the Premier League, let me know and it might well feature on shit outs of the week. Um, again, like I said this week, it probably will be to do with the referees um, because there has been some terrible decisions. Unless there is something. Um, extremely unjust in this game or the next game um spurs excuse me i believe spurs are playing this afternoon and i believe i think there's three games actually yeah there's sheffield united chelsea at half past five and there's tottenham uh nottingham at six o'clock so unless something truly unjust happens in them in these three games today um it will be to do with the referees again and i I do feel bad, but they need to cop on, really, because I don't want it to be a referee bashing um, series, because I'm sure there's probably plenty of them. Yeah, so I don't want it to just be bashing referees all the time, so I will, I'll try not to make it bashing referees all the time, but this week it's certainly looking like it's going to be that. <clears throat> and yeah, so if you're just joining us, 1-0 to Liverpool, Diaz with the goal, about 25 minutes in, corner to Liverpool, placed onto Nunes' head, 
flicks it back across the goal. Diaz at the far post, volleys it straight into the net. Um, probably, probably could have been defended a bit better by United, really. Um, I mean, they had Dallow on the post and Anana in goal, obviously, and it's gone between the two of them. Um, I don't know. They looked a bit confused as to who should be clearing it. But also the fact Diaz had so much space, so much space in the penalty area at the far post. Um, it was like a big a big flood at the front post of people. And then all of a sudden there's Diaz popping up at the far post. Lots of space, volleys it into a net. 1-0, Liverpool. And yeah, Liverpool wasteful though. Liverpool really, really could be four or five goals ahead with some of the chances that they've had. And yeah. I really hope it doesn't turn into the FA Cup game because we all know what happened there. And this is, it's just the way Liverpool, like any time we've, we've dropped points this season, it's been sort of like that. We've been unconvincing. Um, we've wasted chances. Um, the Arsenal game as well in, at home in the Premier League dropped two points there um, and wasted numerous opportunities in that game. Um, the most memorable one is Trent obviously hitting the crossbar um, when it was like a, a 5v2 in defence. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I really hope it doesn't happen again. As it's, And as it stands, of course, Liverpool are top of the Premier League um, by two points, I do believe. So hopefully that continues. But it has been a very um very interesting game. United did come out, played really well in the first five, ten minutes, really put it to Liverpool, and then also when we conceded as uh when we scored, when they conceded, I should have said. Um United came out again and really started putting a bit of pressure on. Um and they did have a good chance as well when they were one nil down in that little spell they had. They had a very good chance, a uh, free kick. It was Fernandez who pinged it over the top. Casemiro then heads it back across goal. And Hoyland and Camboala, they just need to throw a leg out and try and get it. Maybe they couldn't reach it. Very, very close. That could have very well easily have been a goal um, for United. It wasn't, so it's still 1-0. Happy with that. <clears throat> and the second half is going to be getting underway in a few minutes, according to the lady on Sky. Yeah, so I also asked earlier, what did you think about the Brighton penalty, uh, the Arsenal penalty against Brighton? Um, do you think that was a penalty? Do you not think that was a penalty? A lot of things have been said since. Um, I've I've read a lot of articles about it. I think it's I think it's a penalty. Um, also, Wolves disallowed goal. <laughs> Should that have been disallowed? What's your thoughts on that? Let me know, guys. Honestly, I'm I'm happy to talk about anything football. Um, if I if I know about it, then I'll I'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, there's been some. I think there's been some pretty poor decisions. I think that should have that goal should have stood as well. So, and there's just no consistency as well. I mean, also, City didn't concede a penalty. Um, who were they playing? Crystal Palace? Was it Crystal Palace? Yeah. And that was very similar. It was pretty much identical to Dallow. When Dallow conceded a penalty against Chelsea on, was it Wednesday night, Thursday night? Thursday night. Very similar. Very, very similar sort of um, situation. One's a penalty, one's not a penalty. I mean, there needs to be consistency, really. And, um, yeah, so players are back out on the pitch now. Kickoff is imminent. But, yeah, let me, guys know, let me know what you think, guys, of the, those decisions. I mean, I... Penalty and goal for me. And then also penalty against the, the City one as well. So, sober slide to get us underway here. So, 
So I'm, I'm fully expecting United to come out. Ten Hag's coming out awful late. And there he is clapping the fans on. And there we go. We're on the way. Too busy showing us Ten Hag clapping at the fans instead of showing us the football. Is that Diaz? Nunes? Yeah, so it's still a very open game. <sighs> Liverpool, like I say, they're always happy to concede a goal. They're always got a mis seem to have a mistake in them. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. I hope we do go and take some of these chances that we've been having. And the game becomes more comfortable. Here's a ball over the top towards Salas. T taken off him by wan -Bissaka, though. Good defending that was. But yeah, I'm fully expecting United to, like in the first half, um, go and really take the game to Liverpool first 10 minutes or so and wait, have to wait for Liverpool to get into the game. But here is McAllister, actually. And he gets out to Bradley just. Salah on the right wing here. Fed it into Soboslai nicely. Oh, Bradley hasn't read that. He's kept it in play, though, but he's offside. Bradley was running down the right wing on the overlap, but Bradley didn't. Um, Bradley didn't continue to run. Somerset has fed it through nicely to him, but I'm I'm not sure if that was offside or a goal kick. I really don't know what's happened there. Ball forward. Kwanzaa wins the header. Throw into United, left hand side in Liverpool half. Oh, Maynou's doing well here. Oh, but his pull back, though, is terrible. He's pulled it back to Diaz. Now Nunes. Oh, now he's fed it through to Robertson. That's a brilliant one. Salah at the far post. No, it's fallen to Nunes. Oh, it's blocked. Blocked by Maguire's crotch, by the looks of it. He seems to be holding his third leg there. And now Rashford down the left wing, up against Bradley. He's got the legs on Bradley. Bradley's come across, put his hand on him. To the touchline. He cuts it back. Oh, Kwanzaa and Bradley do really well there. Oh, Nunes absolutely rocketed that ball right at the baby maker of Maguire. And here's Salah. Salah's running. Oh, tries to feed it through to Nunes. And off, oh, Main has come away with it, but he's kicked it at the referee, so it's going to be a, a drop ball, I believe, for United. I think it's a drop ball when the referee hits the ball, uh, gets involved with play. Garnacho now cutting inside into the centre circle. Now out to the left with Rashford. And Maguire gets it over to... Oh, it's gone back to Kamwala. And now back to Maguire. Oh, McAllister's done brilliantly. It's got up to Diaz on the left. Into the, towards the penalty area. Gets it across to Salah, but it's in front of Salah. It's straight at Wambasaka. Diaz's passing has been off. A lot of people's passing has been off. It's as though we have um, not realised that we're not playing in red shirts today. <clears throat> so here is Endo. Robertson. Oh, Quance has given it away. Fuck's sake, Liverpool, you fucking idiots. Fernandez has scored from like 50 yards. Fuck me. Why is Kwanzaa on the pitch? Why isn't Gomez there? Again.
This is the same mistake we made in the FA Cup, playing it across our fucking goal. Quans has played it fucking short. Fernandez has run onto it and he's just fucking hit it first time because he sees Kelleher a mile off his fucking line. <sighs> Fuck me. Shit again. Fucking hell. Just give United the fucking points. Great strike by Fernandez. I have to give him that. It's a fantastic strike by Fernandez. He's just seen it. He sees Kelleher's off his line and he's hit the target as well. Some, you know, you see them and they, people don't hit the target with them. Brilliant, brilliant goal by Fernandez. I don't like the man much. I think he's a bit of a rat, diving on the floor a lot, whining. But that very, very well taken goal. And again, a Liverpool fucking mistake. Puts fucking United back in a comfortable position now, and this is where it's going to really open up the game. And again, this is what happens when you play kids. Confident gets get high, make silly mistakes. Yeah. That is an absolute terrible mistake by Kwanzaa. And, yeah. Terrible, terrible mistake. There's McAllister getting taken out, is it? No, referee said play on. Braddy, though, with a ball up towards Nunes now. Oh, and Cam has just done really well there against Nunes. He's made Nunes look like the fucking kid. Nunes has then just retaliated by pulling him back. Fuck me. Watching Liverpool is awful sometimes. Just don't make it. I don't even know how he's made that, that mistake and played that pass so poorly. And yet again, Liverpool conceding to United when they really shouldn't be. There's that Kambala now with back heels. Oh, and who's that? Is that Endo committing himself there? And now they're on a break here. Mainu now out to Rashford on the left. Rashford cuts inside. Back to Casemiro. Out to Garnacho. Garnacho on a defense. Garnacho with the shots deflected. It's a United corner. So, corner for United on the right-hand side. I think Fernandez is probably going to take it. I think he takes all of them, doesn't he? So, cross comes in. Pretty much a free header for Maguire. He's put it out with Rashford on the left-hand side. Rashford with the cross. It's going to go all the way in, is it? What the fuck is Kelleher doing there? What is going on? Where's the defence? Casemiro. Casemiro nearly gets a touch on it, nearly scores. But then Kelleher just punches it straight up into the air. Van Dijk clears it. It's another corner to United. And Liverpool really under pressure here now because we decided to let them score a goal. And now, of course, they're going to put pressure on. Corner taken to Dallow on the edge of the box. Now Garnacho. He's pressured well, though, and here's Liverpool on a break now. United are committed. It's a 4v2 here, 5v2 if we play it right. Cambuala's getting back. Here's Salah. Diaz to Nunes. Oh, what are you fucking doing at the target, you twat? It's a corner to Liverpool, but how has Nunes not hit the target? Has he played it back across goal? Diaz, why is Diaz crossing that? Diaz should be taking a shot. Somebody take a fucking shot. And Nunes, Nunes has cut it back across goal. Why has Nunes cut it back across goal? Go for the shot. You're like a yard away from goal. Robertson with the corner, cross goes in. It's up in the air, it's gone, it's gone out. 
United now back in possession with Mainu. But McAllister, what a challenge that is. Pings it into Soboslai now. is going to shoot. No. And his through ball is cut out. Bradley now. Jesus. Catch your breath. This is... There's the referee again getting in the middle of the play. It's going to be a drop ball for Liverpool. <clears throat> and now it's out to the right wing. Bradley. Kwanzaa. I don't like how high Kwanzaa is, to be honest with you. That's a nice ball back to Bradley. Pick your pass well. He doesn't. Of course, he kicks it against the defender. Oh. So, Soboslai with the corner. Cross comes in. It's a good one. It's headed away by United. McAllister, though. Back to Soboslai. Back to McAllister. Bradley into Endo. Endo now. It's now with Nunes on the left. Nunes lines one up. Blocked again. There's too many people in front of you. Oh, Nunes has lost it. Oh, Bradley gets it back to Nunes, but now they've lost it again. Now United have a chance to break. And Hoyland here now. No. Quanta intervenes, gets it to Soboslai. Definitely needs a change, Elizabeth. This is... But I don't know who. That's the thing. That's a good ball for Bradley. Bradley's in the penalty area to Salah. Salah still going. McAllister... Trying to do too much. There's Kwanzaa winning the ball again. Looked like he was fouled after the fact there, but referee's not give it. It's throw into United. Definitely needs a change, Elizabeth, but I'm not sure what. There's Gakpo, Jones, Jones possibly for Soboslai. Soboslai's been good, but he's also been wasteful. His pass has been off. So here come United now with Dallow. Dallo took that down well in the end. It was a poor pass out to him. And here's Fernandez. Out to Rashford on the left wing. Rashford with the cross in. Kelleher collects it. I thought Kelleher dropped it there. And now, who is this? Diaz now coming away with it. It's now found Saboslai. Bradley on the right. Into the penalty area. He's, oh. Oh, Bradley's won it back, though. Soboslai in the penalty area. Cross. Far, far post to Nunes. Nunes cuts back to Diaz. They're trying to do too much. Just tee someone up for a shot, please. And now there's a... What? mainu has gone down. I don't know why mainu has gone down. He's kicked McAllister. It's not even as though McAllister's, you know, caught him. He's, McAllister's foot is planted. And then... Mainu goes into him, but... Oh, well, it's a free kick to United, apparently. He is down. He is hurt, so... Well, he's up now. So Anana with a ball forward, looking for Rashford. Kwanzaa is there. 
he's offside anyway, Rashford. See, the linesman flagged that one straight away. <clears throat> but the one that wasn't so obvious with Garnacho, they didn't flag. Casemiro puts it out for a throw in. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why either. We take far too long to get a shot off. And by the time we do, there's bodies in front of it. So it's either blocked. But that's exactly what you should be doing is testing an Anna. So. I don't know what happened here. Bradley took a throw in, but the referees blew the whistle anyway. Um, oh, that's a poor pass by Bradley. Straight to wan -Bissaka. And now United are working it out down the left. Oh, poor pass, though. McAllister picks it out. Here's Salah now. Oh, tries to find Nunes. Does find Nunes. Nunes does well. There's a slip. That's why. And then why is Nunes taking that shot? Nunes took a shot there, and it's just trickled to... It's probably on target, but... There's no power in it. And Anna's just come and picked it up. Which is oh, very annoying. So 30 minutes left of this game. Well, 29 minutes. <clears throat> And that's cut out well. And now Liverpool come again. Salah on the right-hand side. But again, United get bodies back straight away. And then Casemiro's gone in on Soboslai. It looks like he's hurt there. But here's Rashford down the left-hand side. Get Elliot maybe, or Dans. I don't think Dans will come on. I do, I do like Dans, but I just don't see it happening. He's been on the bench a few times and been brought on. I think if anybody's going to come up up top, it'll be Gakpo. But Elliot definitely, Elliot's definitely a, a good choice. Elliot, he's got that bit of trickery, hasn't he? He's quick as well. He works well nicely with um, Salah. And there's Fernandez with another chance. I think he's offside, but we'll never find out. He didn't connect with it. Here's Saboslai. Still going, still going, still going. Nunes now. Nunes with the cross, far post. Oh! Soboslai's push Salah. Robertson takes a shot. And he's absolutely clattered it into... Is it Casemiro he's clattered it into? Casemiro's gone down. Oh, I think he's hit his baby maker as well. No. Fernando, Fernandez was onside. Um, Robertson playing him onside. It's lucky he doesn't connect with that. It's coming over his shoulder, so it's a difficult one to judge and then volley it. And he has sliced it. It's gone straight to Kelleher. But if he connects with that, yeah, that has hit um, Casemiro's um, leg. So Liverpool with a throw left-hand side. And... Robertson doing well, wins another throw. Curtis Jones and Gomez look like they're warming up. I mean, it's a bit late for Gomez when the damage is done. I mean, I thought it was a bit strange having Kwanzaa in this game anyway. It's a free kick to United here. I <laughs> I mean, Kwanzaa's great, but this is a massive, massive game. This is a huge game, lots of pressure. It's at Old Trafford against Manchester United, arch rivals. It's a different calibre of game. So I'm surprised he did start. And, well, he, he made the mistake that's been oh so costly so far. That's all I'll say about it. I'm not going to bash on him because, you know, he's only a kid. And everybody makes mistakes. But
Adele, thank you very much for the like over on Facebook. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great um, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. Hope it's going well. Hope you're enjoying the football. Maybe not the results so much. Well, unless you're a United fan, you might be <laughs> wondering how it's 1-1 and how it's not worse. Mm. So, yeah, there is Sabosloy for Jones and there is Bradley for Gomez. So, Sabosloy for Jones, I did, I did say that one earlier. Gomez, though, I, I weren't expecting Gomez. I, well, not for Bradley, anyway. Bradley's been quite good. Um, I don't know. Anthony is coming on now for Marcus Rashford as well, so I assume Garnacho will move out to the left-hand side because um, Anthony plays right, I do believe. Not a big United fan. Don't watch a lot of United football, so I don't know, but I do believe he plays on the right-hand side. So now Gomez and Jones have got to get a feel for this game. So now it's fallen to Mainu in the middle of the park. United on a bit of a break here. Mainu's going on a bit of a run. Pinged it out to Garnacho, left hand side. Got Wan Basaka on the overlap. He's played it into Maine, who has scored an absolute banger of a goal. Maine, who has just scored an absolute fucking belter of a goal. So it's now 2 1 to United. Yeah, and there's Klopp shouting at the players. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't fucking blame Klopp. I don't know what the fuck the players are doing here. I blame Klopp for the first goal because he shouldn't have had Kwanzaa on the pitch. But there's Liverpool shutting off again. Where is the midfield? This ball comes to Mainu, and where is the midfield? It's an absolute banging goal by Mainu. Absolute banging. I'll give him that one. That is nearly as good as um, Fernandez's. He's just took it. He's on the half turn. Top right-hand corner. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Yeah. Bloody hell. So what happens? We should have been 3 or 4 nil up at half time. Yeah. And there is... There is Liverpool not being able to play against United. Here comes Gakpo and Elliot. I'm not sure who's come off. Endo has come off. Nunes and Endo for Gakpo and Elliot. Yeah, well, it's exactly like the FA Cup game. But I, I did it. That was a... An expectation of mine. I had a feeling that that could happen. And Liverpool have always got mistakes in them. And as it is, Arsenal remain top of the table. Still 22 minutes to go, though. And we know Liverpool like late goals. And we know we like getting points late on. Two goals is very possible. Um, yeah. I will hold out hope for that. A 3-2 finish. But now the United fans are up. The players will be up. You've made it awful fucking difficult for yourselves, lads. That's all I'll have to say about that. Liverpool far too easy to get through. I don't... Yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. You know, I voiced all of these opinions before. Oh, Gomez with a poor ball forward to Salah there. 
So now it's with Robertson. Yeah. Gets out to Diaz on the left. Anthony is hounding him, and they've won it back. Oh, he's give that to... Are you giving me a fucking... Uh, I can't believe he's give that to United. Oh, well. Is that one of the shittest United teams of all time against a supposed great Liverpool team and they're fucking up? Not championship material. Well, we're not going to win the title acting like this. And this is this has been it all season long. I said it when I first started this channel at the start of the season. I was saying we couldn't keep a clean sheet, and that has been our downfall. And now, now it's as though we just can't hold on to games. Here come United again. Garnacho corner to United left hand side. He's asking for handball, is he? So you know, I. Just... Yeah, it's, it's been an issue for Liverpool the whole season. I'm surprised we are where we are. It has been an incredibly good season for Liverpool. But these issues have been here all season, and now they are being shown. Cross comes in. And it's a goal kick. For Liverpool. Cross comes in. It was obviously headed wide by a United player. So, we need two goals in this last 18 minutes. Should have started with the French man at the back. He's not there, but I don't think he's on the bench either. Um, oh, he is on the bench. He is on the bench. So, I don't know why Kanate hasn't started. Because Kanate is our second best centre-back. Um, but then, I don't know why Kwanzaa started either. I mean, I said at the very start of the stream, I... That was something I weren't sure about. Um, yeah. And, well, it, I was proven right because, well, he gave away the ball for the United equaliser. One of those frustrating matches again, still hoping. Yeah, me too, Elizabeth. I'll always keep my chin up. I'll always root for the team. Um I know we could we could still get something out of this game, you know. But here come United now. Garnacho kicks it straight at Kelleher, thank God. Hoyland held the ball up well there. This is what I was saying. He's a brick shithouse, that Hoyland. I didn't realise how big he was. I thought he was really skinny and small. But he holds up the ball here. Who is this? Kwanzaa and McAllister. He holds it up well, gets it to Garnacho. But here is United now. Here is Hoyland. No, Kelleher's out, smothers the ball. Yeah. You know, we can still get a point from this game. You know, we can still get three points from this game. You know, but we need to start taking our chance. And at the moment, it's all United. You know, everything is fallen for United. Like, everything... All the, the balls that, you you know, where they go a bit loose and, you know, you get a bit of luck and they fall for you. All of that is going United's way because they are on the up. They, you know, they've got it on their side now. They've got that second goal. The crowd's behind them. Everything is with them now. The whole, you know, situation is with them. How much was Kwanzaa paid by United's new owner? Kambuala with a yellow card there. Um, he did fly in on Jones by the looks of it. Right, so it is Jones. Liverpool finally with a bit of possession. Every time I look at the screen, it's United in possession. Liverpool finally have it. It's, um, it's now Gakpo. 
out to the left to Robertson. Gakpo again. Jones. Curtis Jones. Elliot. Gakpo. Gakpo. Back to Elliot, but it's a poor pass back from Gakpo. He's only a yard ahead of you. Why have you why have you hit it so hard? But yeah, poor performance now from Liverpool. Like they just can't even get on the ball. And of course, Anana has taken an age to take this goal kick. There's the goal kick, just been taken. And here's United now down the left hand side. Garnacho, Van Dyke's across. Van Dijk gets it to Gomez. That was very well played by Van Dijk. Calm. Elliot now. Elliot. Um, crosses it over to Robertson. Paul Anthony Byrne. All right, come on, the pool. That's the fucking attitude, pool. Come on. We can get at least one goal in this game. Diaz. Oh, he's tried to find Elliot. Gomez! Oh, oh! it was dark. teed up for him, I thought. This is it. This is Joe's time. I think that every time it falls for him. But yes, Paul, that's the positive mental attitude we need. We can definitely get a goal from this. Like, we, we battered him in the first half. We should have had three or four goals. You know. We just didn't take the chances. But, you know, get them now. We might do. Quans has just been fouled from behind there. It's a free kick to Liverpool on the halfway line. Quans are out to Gomez now. McAllister. Oh, he's found Gomez well down the right. He's up against wan -Bissaka. I know wan -Bissaka has the pace, but he's found Salah. Elliot. Back to Gomez. Back to Salah. Maka. Jones, Robertson, Diaz, left-hand side of the penalty area. Back to Jones. Jones tries to go at a run. He's found Diaz, though. Back to Van Dijk now. But you see Liverpool are committed bodies forward. If, if United get a break here. Elliot now. Cross comes in. Headed away by Kambwala. I, I told you, that could be a blessing in disguise for United, that Kambwala has put in an immense performance. He had that one little mistake against Nunes in the first half. It didn't come to anything. But since, he has been assured in defence. It was like us when we needed Kwanzaa. You know, he came in and put in a good performance. Can you see them coming back? I have them to win 3-2. We've, to be honest with you, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to tell you that because we've only just finally started getting on the ball. Here's Gomez on the right wing. Since they scored that second goal, they had all the possession. Everything was going their way. Liverpool have only finally started getting a bit of possession. Crossed by Elliot. Casemiro heads it to Gomez. Gomez finds Diaz. Salah! Oh, and Salah's kicked it over the fucking bar again. Fuck me, Salah. How many chances does he need? How many is he going to blast over the bar? Yeah, I wouldn't want to answer that for you, Paul. Um, it, it's always possible with Liverpool, especially in the dying stages of games. You know what we're like this season. Liverpool have only found... Like, that's really their first decent chance since United scored the second goal. Amrabat's now coming on for Fernandez by the looks of it. Is that right? Oh, no, Garnacho. It looked like he was shaking hands with um, Fernandez there. Probably just coming on. Yeah, it's... I know you want to have a decent answer. I know whether to cash out or not, but... <sighs> I wouldn't want to tell you to cash out and then go and do it. That's the thing. Anana's just been booked. He's going to miss the next game because that's his fifth yellow card. For wasting time. That's the sort of thing I'm going to be highlighting in my new series, Shithouse of the Week. Obviously, I, 
not with Anana here, but you know, when you purposely time waste them for a lot of the time. I mean, Anana's only done it since they've been ahead. It is now or never. It really is. If we want to win this league and give Klopp the send off he wants, Gakpo. Oh, he sent Diaz to the shops with that pass. Left hand side now with Robertson. Jones. Diaz. And who is that? Anthony gets a foot in. Does a bit of defensive work, does Anthony? I wonder has anybody told him that his name is missing a H? <clears throat> Here's Quanta now to Van Dyke. Liverpool are finally getting on the ball though. They are getting the possession down. They are like building back into the game. Ten minutes to go though. Well, nine minutes to go actually. And there is a foul on Robertson. Anthony's taken him down. It's oh, he's taken it. It was a good chance to put a ball into the box there, but he's taken it quickly. It's now with Quanta. Elliot. McAllister. Finds Salah. Elliot. He's got Gomez on the overlap. He's played it to Gomez. Gomez with the cross. It's cleared. Elliot with the header. Salah. Oh! That was handball, was it? I don't know. Oh, Quans has done well there on the right wing. Elliot now. Oh, that's a penalty! That's a penalty! Wamba Saka, what are you doing? Wamba Saka is... Oh, he's dived in on Anthony. That was silly, silly Wambasaka. He hasn't even touched the ball. He's gone through Anthony. It's a penalty to Liverpool. There you go, Paul. Maybe that'll um give you a bit of information. Liverpool penalty. I don't know who's taking it. Though. I don't. Oh, is Salah taking it? Eight minutes left. Liverpool penalty. McAllister's holding the ball. There is a VAR check, but I can't see them overturning that. If they if they do overturn it, that'll be my shit house of the week. Ah. <laughs> so Salah, McAllister had the ball in his hands, but it's gonna be Salah. Salah, 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 Salah. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. The way he's lining up, looks like he's going to take it with his right foot. Oh no, now he's straight on. He's taking his time to take this. Oh, it's windy. Now, the ball has stayed still. Salah. He's, he's straight on run. Come on, Mo. Yes! 2-2! Two -two. Get the ball, put it on the spot. Go again. Gakpo with the winner. Let's do this. Come on, Liverpool. Come on, this is a must win. You know it's a must win. Anana's gone the wrong way. Salah place it to the left. It's not a good penalty, you know. If Anana goes that way, then Anana saves it. But Anana's gone the wrong way, so I assume that's why Salah's taken it so tamely. But 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I should change that scoreboard, shouldn't I? There we go. So Salah is continuing to spread the record, yeah, because um, he's got the most goals now against United in Premier League. He's now got one more than Shearer did. He ma Shearer managed 10. Salah managed 11 now. <clears throat> and and for Liverpool versus Man U, that head-to-head -head Salah's out front. They were saying that before the game. Um, Salah's on... Th well, what, what did they say? Um, 11. And I think there's Gerard in second with eight or something like that between the two teams. Here's Van Dyke now. 
Oh, a good ball through. Is this Robertson on the left wing? Here we go. Robertson crosses. Oh, Cambuala with the block. Anthony, though, he's passed it straight to Diaz on the edge of the penalty area. Jones. Jones is going to get pickpocketed. He does. McAllister recovers, though. Kwanzaa now. No, he has a Kwanzaa? Yeah. So as it stands, Arsenal is still on top. Here's Gakpo. Five minutes left. Van Dijk. Kwanzaa. Back to Kelleher. Mount has come on. Mount came on in there somewhere. Ball up top towards Diaz. Maguire deals with it. Oh, Liverpool have got it back here with Jones, though. Robertson. Robertson over the top to Diaz. Diaz, he hasn't quite got the legs, has he? He does. It's a corner, is it? It's a goal kick. Diaz, is, Diaz and Dallow have gone down. That fucking ramp on the side of the pitch at Old Trafford is ridiculous. The pair of them have gone off it and straight into the advertising boards. Diaz is hurt. Dallow is hurt. Diaz is up anyway. I thought that was going to be a corner. It's been given as a goal kick anyway. Six weeks today. Till the end of the season. How long do I have taken for this? Now Liverpool are pressing high. Gakpo. Oh, does well there. Forces Maguire into putting it out for a throw. United half as well. Right-hand side. Now you can hear Liverpool fans singing. See, you, you couldn't hear that for a while there. Diaz now. Maguire is all over him here. He's just fucking... Liverpool throw. Gomez takes it. Elliot now. Elliot goes back to Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa to Van Dyke. McAllister gets out to Elliot. Elliot, right wing. Salah now. Oh, Salah's pass. You're looking at who you're passing it to. Elliot, Salah. Salah's in the middle of the park, just to let you guys know. Salah's just been taken out as well. It's surely a free kick. Hoyland now on the ball, but he'll give that as a free kick, won't he? And Curtis Jones with a yellow card. So that's a good challenge there by Jones. Oh! That's a dive, that is. Amrabat has done really well with a dive there. Jones gets booked for it. Nana, thank you very much for the like. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> Over on Facebook, hope you're having a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Hope it's going well. Hope you're enjoying the football. I know the result isn't, isn't as perfect as we liked. Come on, you Reds. Yes, Elizabeth. Come on, you Reds. Oh, Salah's through. No. Dallow. Is it Dallow gets back? It can't load. What can't load? Chris, thanks for the like as well over on Facebook. What can't load, Chris? No, there's, I haven't got any issues with my stream, so I, I hope it's not the stream that's not loading for you. There's no issues on my end anyway. I did sort that out this week. I had internet issues. Diaz pings this out to Elliot. Right-hand side here. Lovely ball. Gomez. That's a handball.
corner to Liverpool. Robertson with the cross. How did you stream the match? I stream it um, with Streamlabs. The seven minutes of added time, guys. Just to let you guys know. Streamlabs. I stream it to YouTube and Facebook. But Streamlabs is the app that I use. So corner right hand side for Liverpool. And it's I think it's Robertson on it, so it's gonna be an in swinger. It is Robertson. Cross comes in. It's gone out the far side. Referee's blown because is Maguire on the floor? Maguire's on the floor. Yes, of course it's Maguire. Big old slab head. Yeah. Quanta wins the header. Lovely. Gets it to Salah. Elliot. Elliot pings. Oh, tries to ping it over the top to Gakpo, but can't quite. Elliot keeps it in. Maguire does well to clear that. Van Dyke now puts it out for a throw. Oh, how sorry, you meant how do I stream the match? Um, well it's on Sky Sports, so I'm watching it on Sky Sports. Sorry, Chris, I only just understood that. I thought you meant how I, I stream. But yeah, I, it's on Sky Sports, um, so I stream it through Sky Sports. Mm, United win another throw. Gakpo was... Assured that it was a Liverpool throw, but I didn't think so. And the referees give it to United, so it must be a United throw. Wamba Saka over it. He's taking his time here. Fernandez has found Hoyland on the left. Gomez gets in there, though. Oh, but he's giving it straight back to Wamba Saka. But there's Gakpo doing well. Strength from Gakpo. Ah, oh, referee! Referee! That's a yellow card. He's finally booked Mount. Took one for the team there, did Mount. So McAllister plays it out to Gomez. Elliot, penalty area. His cross is terrible. McAllister, though. McAllister there wins it back really high up. Quanta, uh, Van Dyke now, sorry. Robertson. Van Dyke again. Look at McAllister. Look at McAllister. Look at McAllister. Gives it to Quanta. Now Elliot. Elliot with the cross. Big, deep ball. Looking for Robertson. He has. It's a corner, is it? Anthony's going crazy at something. I don't know what. But um, it's headed back and it falls for Diaz. And Diaz comes onto it. Robertson heads it back. Diaz comes onto it. And it, oh, it's just over the bar. It looks like he's absolutely skied it, but it's really close. Ugh, Anthony's throwing himself on the floor. He's pissed off that he didn't get a free kick. So three minutes left. It's not looking like there is going to be a winner. Um, big crossfield ball. Oh, it's terrible. It hasn't even met Robertson. Oh, here come United now down the right-hand side. Did I just fucking jinx this by saying it doesn't look like there's going to be a winner? Here's Anthony now. Gets it to Fernandez. Fernandez tries to play it through, but he doesn't. Cut out by Gomez. Elliot now. Elliot crossfield ball towards Robertson here. Go on, Robbo. Go on, Robbo. Quicker. Now it's with Jones. Van Dyke. Liverpool take it too long to get into the attack. It's like Liverpool have settled for a draw here. 
which is shit. Kwanzaa. So it's Kelleher now. Jones is tripped from behind. Amrabat there. Free kick to Liverpool. Here is Gomez. Oh, Gomez! What is that? He's trying to play it into Diaz. He's just overhit it. It's gone straight through to Anana. So, Liverpool win it back. Only as far as Maguire. Maguire's put it out for a throw. One minute, 15 seconds left. Liverpool need to do it all. One more good attack. Gomez with the throw in. Goes down the line. Elliot Salah. Salah's taken out there, but nothing doing. Here's Hoyland now. Oh, and he's found Anthony. Shot straight at Kelleher. Good job it fell to Anthony, really. Here's Van Dijk. Van Dyke to Jones. Come on. You need to be quicker, Liverpool. And Jones, what the fuck are you doing, Jones? Letting him come in behind you. United have turned it over. And here they are on the right-hand side. There's nobody giving him a shout saying somebody's coming in. Gakpo. Oh, Diaz keeps it in, does he? He's going down the left wing here, Diaz. Oh! Casemiro has gone in dirty there. That's a yellow card. Liverpool will have a free kick in a very dangerous position. 25 yards or so from goal. Yellow card for Casemiro. Liverpool will have the last chance of the game, and it will be to put a ball into the box. Oh! That's a red. That's a red, that is. In my opinion, that's a red. He's gone straight through, studs up. He is lucky. That that's not a red. In my eyes, that would be a red card. I don't normally call for it, but that is a red card. He's gone with his studs up, and he's actually landed on Diaz's foot. So, cross. Who is over it? Robertson? Robertson with the cross. Cross comes in. Elliot. Oh, he's hit it straight at a nine. It's going to finish 2-2. Two two. Liverpool can't get a result against United. Liverpool turn in to the Liverpool of fucking fifteen years ago, who can't go to United and get a result because I don't know. They think that they're better than them. I don't know what it is. They need to. Oh fucking load of shit, load of rubbish. That is. It's two two. That's how it finishes here. And well. Well, well, well. Liverpool should have been out of sight in the first half. Liverpool wasteful. This is what will ruin Liverpool's season. Um, I would not be surprised if it actually just finishes with a, Euro uh, a Carabao Cup title for Liverpool. Because playing like that, you won't win titles. Um, you just won't. That was poor. They should have had them in... They should have put them to bed in the first half. Didn't. And, well, United have bragging rights, to be honest with you. They deserve bragging rights as well. Two draws and then a, a win in the FA Cup. A fair play to United. They've kept us out. I don't know how. I really don't know how. Only our shortcomings have, um, have done it. So, yeah. Finishes 2-2. Diaz with the opener. Plain sailing. You know, cross comes in from a, a corner. Nunes with the flick on. And Diaz at the far post. Acres of space. Volleys it into a net. Into the net. Um, between Anana and Dallow. Um, you know, if United were better defensively, they probably, you know, Diaz probably ain't even scoring that goal. Then United get back into it because of an error due to Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa passes it to Fernandez about 50 yards out. Fernandez just hits it. Because he sees Kelleher off the line. Trickles in to the bottom right-hand corner. Very, very well-taken goal by Fernandez. So, you know, hitting the target alone from that sort of distance is difficult. 
he's done it and scored a goal in one of the biggest games he'll ever play in against Liverpool at Old Trafford. Um, yeah, not sure why Kwanzaa started. Feel sorry for him because he feel you can see the way he's looking that he he feels a bit bad for doing it. You know, at the end of this game. Klopp's fault for putting him on the pitch. I don't know why Canate and Gomez are on the bench and Kwanzaa's starting against Old against United at Old Trafford. I really do not understand that decision. I don't. I don't even know why Bradley is starting there. Um, in this game. If you've got Canate and Gomez on the bench, who have been outstanding this season, don't get me wrong, Kwanzaa and Bradley have been good, but they're still young, they're still learning the game. Why is Gomez not a uh, Canate not a centre back and Gomez at right back? That is what's cost us the game, I think. I think. Well, also just not being able to score goals is terrible. Our forwards are wasteful, and this is something I was saying at the beginning of the season as well. Our forwards are wasteful. Yeah, that's a great goal. They're just showing the goals, and then yeah, and then it was um, Kobe Mainu with an unbelievable goal as well. Gets it in the penalty area, cuts back on the half turn, and then just curls it into the top right-hand corner. Great, great goal by the youngster. And then Liverpool get a penalty late on. wan is very silly. United probably could have came away with the three points. Um, but wan has flown in and um, on Elliot, And Salah converts the penalty. Um, Calm as you like to the left hand side. Um, keeper gone the wrong way. Finishes 2 2. Um, yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbled. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody because that's going to be it from me. That is going to be it from me for today. Um, I just need to find out when our next game is. I believe it's um, Thursday Cup. It is Thursday Cup. Yeah, so. That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Incredible. I'm delighted with how many viewers we had. We had nearly 2,000 viewers over on YouTube, which is absolutely exceptional. 79 votes in the poll, which is great as well. I mean, that's probably the highest I've ever had in a poll. And it was, who will Liverpool finally get a result today against United? 71% um, of you said yes. Unfortunately, 70, well, unfortunately, 100% of the people were wrong because I didn't put the option for it to be a draw. But 71% of you thought Liverpool would get a point and really uh, would get a result. We really should have got a result. We really should have got the three points. We didn't, unfortunately. But we go again anyway. Like I said, Arsenal have got very difficult, um, very difficult games. They've got to go to United. They've got to go to Spurs. They've got to go to, uh, or Villa. They've got to play Villa. That'll be at the Emirates though. And I, there was another one as well, which I thought is a potential. Because all I've heard today is that Arsenal will not concede any more goals for the rest of the season. And I'm just like, well, they're playing United. They're playing... But they've got to play Chelsea as well. I think Chelsea is another one as well. They've got to play United. They've got to play Villa. They've got to play Chelsea. And they've got to play Spurs. And that's four quite difficult games. And very possibly will concede in them games. So... We're still ahead of City which is good, um, but still behind Arsenal because of that goal difference, which is very annoying, that goal difference. We definitely could have closed that down the other day, and we didn't. If it comes down to that at the end of the season, I'll be very, very disappointed. Um, but yes, thanks again, everybody who tuned in. Um, like I said, I'll next be live for Liverpool versus Atalanta. That's coming from Anfield. That's 8 p.m on the on Thursday Thursday the 11th of um, April that's so that's when I'll next be live but look out for um look out for the my videos I'll be doing a preview of course there'll be a highlights video from this stream there'll be shit out of the week coming of course on Monday um I'm pretty sure it'll be Monday I don't think there's is there a Monday yeah, so Monday there'll be a shit out of the week. Of course, um, I plan to do that every week because I just really enjoy it. And um, yes, really, really, thank you very much. There were so many likes, so many follows on Facebook. Really appreciate that. Lots of likes on YouTube. Subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, seriously subscribe. It is the, the most 
important thing that you guys can do for me to help me grow as a channel. And, you know, if you do that, I then get promoted to other people who might also enjoy the content. And, yeah, thank you very much. I do hope to get up there and be one of the best fan channels that there is um, eventually. I know it'll take a while. There's some very big hitters in this game, but hopefully I'll get there. That is the goal eventually. I know it'll take time, but I'm happy to put in the work. I love doing the work. I love interacting with you all. And thanks everybody who got in the chat as well. Your predictions, just chatting. Really enjoy it. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you all. And, um, you know, also get get where you're from. Um, there was um, Thato as well from Botswana. Happy to have you in the chat, of course. Doesn't matter where you are. Get in the chat, have a conversation with me. Really appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody. Um, Liverpool drop two points. Give away two points, really. Give give away two points to a team that don't even deserve a point, really. Um, that's just the way football is, and that's the way Liverpool are playing at the moment. It's really, really hard to watch sometimes. But, um, yeah, you know when I'll next be live. Look out for all my content. And until Thursday, up the fucking Reds.